Once you're logged into MyChildrenLife.com, you'll want to navigate to the bulletin section either by clicking on bulletins in the main navigation or by scrolling down. Here you'll see some of the most recently posted bulletins and to the right there's a view all button which is what I'm going to click on. So to give you a quick overview of the bulletin section, you've got either five or six tabs which represent the different bulletin categories. Right now, we're in the local bulletin board, which only shows to other members who live in your community. Content here can vary and might include just about anything that doesn't fit one of the other categories. No matter which category you're in, the bulletins are somewhat self-filtering in that what you see first is either the most recently posted, updated, or commented on threads. As bulletins become less relevant and members stop engaging with the bulletin, it will be pushed back by other threads. Next, you've got buy and sell, which are only viewable to your neighbors, so you can do just that, buy and sell items. It's basically like a trilogy-only Craigslist or Facebook marketplace. Then we have services, which just like the title implies, features bulletins about various services. This is where you'd post a great painter recommendation or ask other members for their recommendations on various vendors. It's also a great place for members to promote their own businesses. Sometimes we see pet or house sitters post their services here. The section is also viewable to just your local community. Then in certain communities, we have a home rentals board where members may post their homes which are available for rent. Please remember if you're posting a home within Trilogy, there may be rental restrictions in place. These bulletins are also only viewable to your local community. Next is the National Bulletin Board, which is viewable to all Trilogy members nationwide, and posts should be placed here accordingly. For example, if you're going to post something for sale here, you should be ready to ship it across the country as members who live in a Trilogy community in a different state or across the country may want to purchase your item. And finally, there's a My Bulletin section. So any bulletins that you post or have followed will show up here for easy access. So now we're gonna head back to one of the boards and we'll talk about existing discussions. When you're browsing the bulletins and see a post or topic which you'd like to read about or comment on, simply click into that specific bulletin. There you can read the original post and any comments that have been made on the post. Comments on MTL read like they do other social media sites with the newest comments being shown first. If you'd like to comment on the bulletin or join in the conversation, click into this what are your thoughts box. You'll then type your comment in the box and click post comment. You'll see that your comment has been shown instantly and that you also have an edit and delete button. Your edit button allows you to make adjustments on your comment and your delete button allows you to remove the comment altogether. If you scroll back up to the top, you can choose to follow the bulletin, which will move the thread to your My Bulletins tab. And then anytime the author updates the bulletin or someone makes a new comment, you'll get an email notification if your settings are set up to do so. And then finally, you'll notice that each bulletin and bulletin comment have a button that say flag as inappropriate. If you think someone has posted something they shouldn't have or that the post violates the website's terms of use, you may click this button and an email will be sent to the MTL administrators for review. Please note that the poster never sees that you have flagged something of theirs. All right, so now I'm going to jump back to the My Bulletins tab so that you can see any bulletins you followed, commented on, or posted here for easy access. Now, if you'd like to start your own bulletin, you may do so from any of the sections by clicking this Create Bulletin button. There, the form will open up and you'll begin by selecting which type of bulletin you'd like to post. Each category corresponds to the various tabs in the bulletin section. So then you're going to type in your title and then the body of your post. Now this can also include anything from lists to photos and links. If you're posting a buy and sell bulletin, a price field will show up here just before the image, but if not, you'll skip straight to the image section. 
Now images really enhance the website and makes the bulletins look more interesting. So if you have one to use, that's awesome. To add one, click into this box and your native file browser will open for you to select a photo, which I will say, horizontal photos work best. And then finally, you can add any tags to help with the searchability of the post. When you're ready, hit publish and your post will instantly go live. There you see you'll have an edit button for if you want to come back and make any edits to your bulletin, or if you'd like to delete it altogether, you may do so by selecting this delete button. And of course, your bulletin will now show in your My Bulletins tab within the bulletin section. If you need any help posting bulletins, there's a Need Help Email Us link here, or you can simply email feedback at bluestarresorts.com.